One of the most contested topics in AI right now is whether large language models can be used to accurately forecast on time series data. In recent months, AI researchers have posted many papers making bold claims about the ability or inability of LLMs to work with this type of data. This paper claims that open source LLMs have the ability to do zero-shot predictions of time series data. Or in other words, the researchers assert that these models can make accurate forecasts without prior exposure to time series data sets. This paper posted a few days later argues that LLMs struggle with time series forecasting due to the inherent limitations of their architecture. I decided to test the accuracy of large language models for time series forecasting by pulling data from crypto markets for a few popular coins. The idea here is to get a sense of just how on the mark or off the mark several large language models are predicting future price values. To provide important context and prompting, I first described the task to the language model by telling it that it had the inherent capability to predict future values off of time series data. I then shared a month's worth of crypto data with a comma-separated table that included the date and the cryptocurrency's value. I actually did not share the coin's daily value, but instead the percentage change in the coin's value over the previous day. There are several reasons for using a relative change measure, which you can read more about in the video description below. I requested that the LLM output a single value of the forecasted percentage change in price for the day after the shared time series data ended. I wanted to test a few types of large language models, so in a Python environment, I looped the test with three recent open source models, Llama 3, Mistral 7 billion, and Gemma 2. As an additional benchmark, I estimated a conventional ARIMA forecasting model and generated a prediction. Now, this is by no means an exhaustive or systematic test of the accuracy of large language models on time series forecasting. I focused on a volatile type of time series data measured only for one month and did not include any exogenous predictors. So what did the results show? Here are the results for the prediction of Bitcoin price changes. The dashed red line on the bottom of the chart represents the actual percent change in the price of Bitcoin, while the blue dots represent the forecasted predictions made by the ARIMA model and the three separate large language models. What we can see is that the ARIMA model is much closer to the dashed red line compared to the three large language models, meaning that it did a better job at predicting the actual observed percent change in Bitcoin price. In terms of magnitude, the large language models were about three percentage points off from the actual observed value, while the ARIMA model was only one percentage point off. We see similar results when making time series forecasts for Ethereum and for Ripple. With the important caveat that this analysis represents just a basic test of the performance of large language models on time series forecasting, we see that the ARIMA model does much better than the large language models. I think the tentative verdict is that you're better off sticking to traditional time series methods such as ARIMA. I link to the prompt and code I used to run this forecasting test in the video description below. You can try it out yourself and see whether you get the same results. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more videos on AI and financial markets.